Is this the one you were telling me about? Mm -hmm. I see. They aren't quite as frightening as you described to me. <laughs> well, I suppose that's true. Looks can be deceiving, can't they? Gentlemen, if you would, please clear the room. I'd like to be alone for a moment with our guest. That was not a suggestion, Doctor. That was an order. Now, all of you, get out. <laughs> and you. Next time you think about questioning my authority in front of a stranger, no less, I'd like you to imagine how your head would look pierced on a stick atop my castle walls. Do you understand? <sighs> well, that takes care of that. Hey, come now, little one. I'm not going to hurt you. I know that little talk I just gave may have been a bit intimidating, but I suppose you wouldn't understand. The truth is, I don't like cursing at them, let alone threatening my men. But sometimes, it has to be done. As Prince, I quickly realize that any display of weakness can and will be taken advantage of. People are quick to use their power and influence to try to overrule me. They get rowdy, overconfident. They begin conniving behind my back. So, I have to give them a snap back to reality. But, I'd never go through with it. As quick tempered and stressed out as I can be, I'd never actually have someone killed for simply talking back to me. I mean, after all, I may be Prince, but without my people, I'd be nothing but an average man. But I don't suppose you care too much about hearing my struggles. You seem to be going through a lot more than me right now. Here, yeah. I was told not to interact with you too closely, but seeing you chained up, covered in dirt and bruises, I figured this was the least I could do. I got you a cup of blood. It's cow's blood. I know that's probably not your preference, but... It's all I could get right now. I just thought it was better than nothing at all. You don't want it? Well, I'll leave it sitting here next to you, just in case you change your mind. So, it's true, isn't it? You're a vampire, like my bounty hunter says. 
Hmm. Well, of course I believe in that sort of stuff. As a child, my mother would read me stories about all sorts of creatures. Fairies in the forest that cause mischief and trick travelers. Dwarves that mine through the core of the world in search of gold and riches. Dragons far smarter and more powerful than any man could ever hope to be. My mother, she was always a believer in the strange and supernatural. I was too as a kid, but as I got older, I began to assume my role as prince more prominently. Everything got so much more tense, so much more serious. And I was so young too. It seemed that the older I got, the less I believed. And the more the magic began to slip away from me. And then my mother, she, well, she, uh, she went away and, um, I suddenly couldn't find the will to believe. Those were just silly stories you tell kids to keep them quiet. That's what I convinced myself. I think, deep down though, a part of me knew that there was more to this world than what meets the eye. And then, last night, I got news from my bounty hunter about what he had caught. I thought he must have been joking at first, but after seeing you in the flesh, he was telling the truth. Vampires do exist. You don't look so happy. I know this doesn't make up for what's been done to you. Having your hands chained up. Being locked in this cage and dragged out of your home. My words can't reverse that. But I... I'm truly sorry for the way you've been treated. You aren't going to speak to me, are you? I can't say I blame you and your situation, but just now, I didn't give the order. I didn't send my men to find you. There had been rumors in town about a vampire nearby. Apparently some people got attacked and since then, everyone's been on edge. People have been going out hunting on their own. I don't know how exactly. Maybe he was tipped off by someone. But my hunter managed to track you down. After he found you, he brought you here to me. I figured I'd give him a big reward for finding a vampire like you. I suppose he knows I have a bit of a weak spot for monsters. Well, with all that being said, Let's free you from those chains. <laughs> I'm completely serious. No tricks. The man who was in the room before me, 
He's, uh... Well, he's the royal family's personal doctor, and, uh... As you could imagine, it's not every day a vampire walks through the door. He's already consulted with me about his plans to... experiment on you. Says it can lead to all these great scientific breakthroughs, but... Well, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Hmm? Don't. What... What do you mean, don't? Don't you want to be set free? You can go back to your home and we can pretend this whole thing never happened. Right? Hmm. I see the problem. If I let you go, this will just happen again, won't it? And that's what you're afraid of. Moving somewhere else, getting caught, and being captured by another hunter. Maybe one that isn't as gentle as mine. I don't... I don't know what the solution is here, I can't just... Well, maybe I, maybe I can actually. Tell me, how would you like to live here? I mean, not in the cage, obviously, but how would you like to live in this castle with me? You're afraid to go home, so, <laughs> well... There's only three people that truly know about you. Me, my bounty hunter, and my doctor. And after all, I am the prince. <laughs> Perhaps I can convince those two to keep their mouth shut. And you can live here with me. Of course, we'll have to figure out the whole blood situation, but I think we can manage that. What do you say? A vampire and a prince? We can make quite the team, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs>